Previously on Last Stop. Dad! I know, I'm running late. Let me get sorted, I'll be quick. What's the deal with Jack's post always coming to us? Uh, do you have any posts for us? Oh, yeah, I do. You know? You see that? I couldn't even bother to bring me my damn post. I like him. Oof. Are you guys all right? You too, you too. We're made for each other. Molly, you're okay. Are you here to see my dad? I think he's sick. Wait, I'm your dad. Uh, no, you're Jack. Jack? I do look like him, and that was his flat. Why are you being so weird? Have you got some more of our post or something? Can you let me in? I think I need to speak to your, um, dad. Okay, I guess you're not a stranger. He's locked himself in his bedroom. I'll go and talk to him. Oh God! Oh God, what the hell has happened to me? Jack? Please say that's you in there. Who are you? What the hell's going on? Why do I look like a terrible, fat old man? All right. Tone it down a notch. My daughter's out here. Who the hell are you? Why do you sound like me? Just open the door. Jesus H. Christ! You've stolen my body! I don't want it. Give me my body back. Wait. What, I recognise this face in the mirror? If this is your body, that must make you the bloke who brings the post! I think we're getting somewhere. It's John, remember? Help! Help! Shut up! No! What the hell are you doing? Your dad's a little bit unwell, so I'm going to take you to school. That's all right, isn't it? Sure. What's wrong with my dad? Oh, he just has an upset stomach, nothing serious. He probably just ate some gone-off meat or something. He was screaming because of an upset stomach. Maybe it was that jelly. Yeah, he made a bit of a mess in his room. Gross. Is Dad going to have to go to hospital again? Don't worry. He's fine. Just, he has to go to the doctor about his heart sometimes. Trust me, Mole. He'll be fine. 
You've never called me Mole before. Will you make sure Dad's okay when I'm at school? He can't have fried food. He isn't allowed. Well, I'm just going to pop home after this to check on him. Or cheesecake. He'll ask you for it by saying no. Okay, Molly. Hey, Molly. Hello, whoever you are. Hey, Shaz. This is Jack. Hello, Jack. Molly, where's your dad? He's not feeling well. Jack said he did number two all around his bedroom. Then he walked me to school. Oh, ooh. Thanks for that colourful interpretation there. He, he's, he's fine, he's just a bit ill. Who are you again? I told you, he's Jack. Hiya. Right, come on then, off you go. You're going to be late otherwise. OK. OK, what's really happened to John? And why the hell are you taking his daughter to school? OK, I can explain. You better. I'm calling the police. I'm, uh, John's nephew. That doesn't make sense. He's an only child. You know John doesn't like opening up about that sort of stuff. Look, if you don't believe me, ask me something only someone close to John would know. I'm not playing games. Please. Well, what's John's mum called? Agatha Smith. Biggest phobia? Riding the teacups. Makes him feel woozy. You're really John's nephew? It's a complicated story. Look, I'm, I'm glad I bumped into you, actually. He asked whether you could tell Clive he won't be in today. He's going to be in the shit for that. But sure, I can tell him. Thanks, Shaz. Uh, Sh Shazia. I appreciate it. John's so fragile. I often say he could use some help around the house. Well, not that fragile. Right. You're not going to scream at me again, are you? He's done a runner. Jack, what the hell? Do you know this guy? Amy, it's me! I'm Jack! He's my crazy uncle. Sorry, I'm pretty sure he's high. How does he know my name? He's lying! Amy, it's me! We've been friends forever! Oh, uh, I guess I told him about you. Why? What did you tell him? Oh, you know, that you're a good friend. That I can open up to you and you'll listen. Yeah, you're a good listener. Well done for listening. Your favourite ice cream's rum and raisin. Your favourite sport is basketball. You secretly smoke, but you'll never tell anybody. Shut up! Did you seriously tell him all this shit about me? No. I, um, keep a diary. And he read it. The bastard. Oh, well, I'll look after him. Why don't you go to, uh... Work? Don't go! Amy! 
Amy, help me! I need your help! Yeah, you go to work. Come on, Jack. I, I mean, John. Let's get you home. Yeah. Bye. Amy! Jack, stay away from me. You've done this. You've put a spell on me or something. You're evil. Hang on a minute. We're both in exactly the same situation. Notice how much calmer I am. Now stop so we can talk about this. Just leave me alone. Oh, God, my body feels so weird. Jesus, don't you ever exercise? Oh, I am sorry. I didn't exactly plan on renting out my body to anyone this morning. I can't even look at you. This is so messed up. It's the same for me as it is for you, you know. Come on. I'll buy you a coffee. Have you got any idea how this might have happened? No. Oddly enough, this is my first time swapping bodies. Something would have triggered this. Something that connects the two of us. Something spiritual. Or witchcraft. No, I don't believe in any of that crap. Jesus. What are they going to say at work? Well, I'm you, right? I've got your phone here. Let me call in sick for you. Actually, not a bad idea. Okay, look for Sonia in my contacts. She's the receptionist at work. Tell her I got the squits or something. Charlie. Okay. It's ringing. Super Fab Games. Sonia speaking. Hey, Sonia. It's Jack. Uh, I'm not going to be able to make it in today because I got the squirts, I'm afraid. Ah, oh, Skyver. No worries, I'll tell Derek. Enjoy your lying. No, really. I'm very poorly. She hung up. Yeah, Sonia's safe. Hey, hang on a minute, your phone's buzzing. Answer it. Say you're me. Uh, hello? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Who was it? It was your daughter's school. They said to let them know in future if you plan to keep Molly home for the day. Such an idiot. I shouldn't have taken her to school. She must have been so confused about everything. Well, you did drop her off in my body. I mean, she possibly thought that was a little bit weird. Shut up and help me look for her. Hey, relax. Look, she's probably just in the park, right? Playing on the swings, like, you know, like a kid. You need to chill out. Really? You're telling me to chill out? After that whole performance earlier? Come on! Let's go to the park, then. It feels seriously weird being you. Ooh, everything jiggles about as I move. Yeah, well, give it 15 years and you'll feel the same. Actually, why am I answering that? We need to find Molly. Mate, she's probably just drinking cider behind a tree somewhere. She's eight. Oh. Alcohol-free cider? you're all right. Oh, hi Jack. Nice to see you. This is going to take some explaining. So I didn't go to school. Am I in trouble? What? Nah. We're cool. No worries. Molly, promise me you'll never do that again. You scared me to death. Why are you both being so weird? Dad, I was worried you were poorly, so I wanted to go home. But then I got scared you'd be angry. Are you going to tell her or am I? There's something we need to talk to you about. Let's get you home. How come Jack's here? I think you should ask John that. I, I, I mean, Jack. 
We have something to tell you that affects all three of us. Is it about our post? Okay, uh, let me see. Oh, you know on Halloween, where everyone dresses up in different clothes and pretends to be someone else? Well, this is a little bit like that. What? Our brains have got swapped. What he's trying to say is that we seem to be in each other's bodies. I'm me, your dad. And that makes me Jack, not dad. Makes sense? You've swapped brains? Yes. And you're my dad? Yeah. And this isn't a joke? Chicken dippers. Solid dinner choice, John. They're the business. So, what happens now? You get our old bodies back. Oh, right! Dad, you've got a sauce down your front. That shirt's limited edition. Sorry. I'm still getting used to my arms and legs being different sizes. You both look a bit of a mistake. You should dress each other up properly. It's true. We need to swap wardrobes. Okay, let's see what I've got to work with. She's a smart kid. I know. I'm a lucky dad. How do you put up with feeling out of breath all the time? Yeah. You get used to it. I don't know how my clothes look so bad when you wear them. <laughs> We're going to have to perform a wardrobe transplant on you. Go and get some clothes from the wardrobe in my bedroom. Right, well, it's been quite a day. I should probably be getting to bed soon. Well, you can't stay here. Of course I can. It's my place. Jack, everybody thinks you're me. It'll look too suspicious if I'm alone with Molly. So what are you saying? You want me to move in? I'm sorry. None of this is ideal. <laughs> the more I think this through, the more problems there are. What about work? I can't keep calling in sick. I'm guessing you have a job too. Yeah, you're right. We need to figure that out too. Any suggestions? On Monday we're going to have to cover for each other. I'm going to have to pretend to be you, and you're going to have to pretend to be me. Previously on Last Stop. Are you right, babe? Yeah, just had a long day. My babe saving the world again, is she? The most exciting desk job there is. So you've met Amy. Is that her name? She's getting fast tracked. What? I've decided to include Amy in the selection process. Let's see who comes out on top.
Dad. How's life inside the military industrial complex? Blown up any babies with your death robots this week? No, sorry. But hey, maybe when you overthrow the government, you can have me thrown in the gulag. That might cheer you up. All I see in the news these days is robots. <laughs> robots killing people, robots taking jobs, robots having sex with people. You know, in my day, we'd have balloted if someone tried to give a job to a bloody robot. Strong industrial action is what we need. How's the ticker? You've been doing your exercises like Dr. Lund recommended? That's another thing that's gone to the dogs. The state of the health service in this country! Okay, before you get deep into another one of your rants, do you fancy going for a walk? Nene, you're just trying to shut me up? Well, I won't fall for it. I guess I'll feed the pigeons without you, then. Hmm. Well, don't dawdle. Lead on. Why do I never get to see my grandson? Dad, he visits you at least once a month. But you come over here every day. And aren't you lucky to have such a devoted daughter? Been growing anything in your allotment? Bastards took it away from me. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Dare I ask why? The fascist closed ranks and forced me out. Didn't have the stomach for my radical proposals. And there it is. Here you go, comrades. Get your beaks around this manky old bread. Dad? I call these two Tony and Alistair. Mangy old bear. Did you or Mum ever have a... affair? What? I'm not gonna judge. It's fine. I'm sure all marriages have their difficult moments. Where did you get that idea? Our marriage was strong. Your mother shone like gold. You know, she saw the beauty in all things, Nini. No matter how cracked and broken. <laughs> Spending 40 years seeing the world through her eyes was a privilege. She certainly had the measure of us. Remember how she used to call us a pair of chattering jackdaws? Always squabbling. <laughs> Squawking is the word I think she used. Ah, uh, your mother loved coming here to feed the birds. You know, everything took a turn for the worse when she left us. I know. You had a loving family. <laughs> I don't know why you turned out like you did. It's getting chilly. We should get you back inside. <laughs> Had enough of me, I see. Okay, take me home. I, uh, imagine you're in a hurry to get back to work. No, I'm done for the day. Good. You'll have time for a cuppa then. I had Julia come round here the other day. You know, Julia from the book club. Anyway, she was trying to get me to sponsor her boy to climb some hill in South America. Can you believe the cheek of it? What does climbing a mountain, let alone traveling all the way to Argentina, have to do with charity? They've got it the wrong way around. I'm not paying for someone to have a lavish holiday. Who do they think they are? It's an insult, to be honest. And if you want a holiday, you can have a weekend in Wales like the rest of us. Don't 
be shy. I'll have a little more sugar. Keep it coming. A little more. Seriously. Nini, fetch the chocolate biscuits. What is this? Is this what I think it is? Put it away, walking around in other people's business. What the hell are you doing with drugs in your flat? Oh, stop in such a wet blanket. They're therapeutic. You know, I use them scientifically. I just can't fathom it. You, of all people, why would you? They're psychedelics. Safer than riding a bus, you know? I, I take them to broaden my mind. Broaden your mind? I bet you've got no idea what's in these. Could be mixed with carpet cleaner for all you know. How did you get them? Oh, so the stuffed shirt is taking an interest, huh? You want some too? Try one of mine if you like. Stop joking around. I'm dead serious. Who sold these to you? Oh, you wouldn't believe the things I've seen, Nini. A bizarre city in the middle of the desert with strange beings with, with red and green skin. And a huge flower with glowing walls. Ha <laughs> trippy, huh? Tell me who sold these to you, or I swear I'm going to walk out right now. Calls himself Spider. He was very easy to find. I looked him up online at the library. Here, I'll write down his phone number. Dad, I've got to go. Don't do any more of those. Promise. All right. Off you pop. Can I help you? Hello. I don't think we've met before. You're Wendy, aren't you? Right. I'm Mina, your dad's friend. I know who you are. Oh, good. Well, going anywhere nice? Nope. I feel like we've got off on the wrong foot. Maybe we can start over? Not now, obviously, but uh, another time. Sure. I like your wedding ring, by the way. Hey, you. 
Didn't expect to see you today. Did you tell your daughter I'm married? Is that a problem? How much does she know? I don't keep secrets from her. She's a grown-up girl. Ah, oh, well. I'd probably hate me in her shoes. <laughs> probably. <laughs> no need to sugarcoat it. Anyway, you gonna invite me in? Hello, Mr. Spider. Good to meet you. How are you? Is this a wind-up or something? All right. How's this work, then? Bit of small talk until you're ready to get down to business? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, well, that's a shame. If you're not interested in my money, I'll have to phone that other guy. Come to the alley off Cherry Tree Lane in about 30 minutes. Are you the bird on the phone? Who else would I be? Let's do this then. What are you after? Okay. Shut up and pay attention. You've had a good run. You've made a bit of money. But you're done. You're not going to be selling any more of that crap around here. And if I learn otherwise, I'm going to get nasty. <laughs> you what? A bit slow on the uptake, eh, Spider? Let me put it more clearly. If you sell drugs again, I'll absolutely obliterate you. Got some mouth on you. Drug on love before I take it to heart. Oh dear. Wrong answer. I'm afraid I'm going to have to hurt you now. You serious? Yeah, that's my arm. <sighs> Gavin Briggs, flat 114, Oriel House, the Villas. Very nice. You've done well for yourself. I think it'd be a good idea if you did as you're told. Don't you, Gavin? Yeah. <sighs> you can do better than that. Yes, absolutely. I'm going to hang on to your license, so make sure you stay out of trouble. 
You wouldn't want me appearing on your doorstep, would you? You're crazy. Who the hell are you? I'm just a bird on the phone, Gavin. Chug on. No woman disrespects Spider. You've got bare bad things coming your way. Having fun with your extracurricular activities. What? You know, all the extra work you've been doing. You should be getting paid overtime for working so hard, so late. Why do you always have to work late, Mum? <laughs> Is this an intervention? Mum has a really important job. It's like a big competition where the best win. And Mum is the best. You're the best as well. Certainly the best cook in this family. Right. Bedtime. Oh, really? Yep. Come on, Dylan. I'll tuck you in. Oh, Dad, can't you do it? Listen to your mum. No. That's all right. I'll uh, clean up here. You take him up. I'm going to have to cancel tonight. Why? What's wrong? It doesn't matter. I just can't make it, okay? Okay. So when can I see you? I'm not sure, Felix. Just give me some time. Hughes, you didn't disappoint. I had a look through your examination results. They're very strong. Can I assume that means I got the job? Not quite yet. I want to give Amy another shot. We're going to do another round of interviews. Just the two of you. What? But she has next to no experience. I'm your lead on this. This assignment means a great deal to me. There's a long personal history attached to this. You can understand why I want to be absolutely sure I have the right person. Why her, though? I'm not afraid of a little competition. <laughs> Just tell me where and when and I'll bring it. There she is. 